Dr. Okay. Faith Elliott Rossing, and I am here at Double Creek uh, Point Road. Did I say that correctly? Yes. Double Creek Point Road That's with correct. the Arnold family. The address is Chestertown, but we're actually in Queen Anne's County. We're excited to be here. The Arnold family is the second family that will be receiving recognition at the Queen Anne's County uh, Farmer of the Year Award at Queen Anne's County Fair. And uh, thank you for having me today. Thank you for coming. It's lovely here. We're outside and underneath the tree. You can hear the animals in the background. Um, Bob, we're gonna to talk to you first. You wear several hats, one of which is the current Queen Anne's County Farm Bureau president. That's hat. correct. Yes, and you were our partner and lead on hosting the 65th and last Delmarva Poultry Industry Chicken Festival. A lot of work. You wanna share a little bit about your perspective on that from the Farm Bureau? Well, I think in retrospect, it was a lot of fun, but it was a tremendous amount of work. You know, Friday we were on the verge of running out of chicken mm -hmm. and gratefully Purdue sent us a pickup truck load of chicken to help us out. Unfortunately, the chickens were whole chickens and had to be all quartered. And that was a tremendous, we were up until midnight that Friday, mm -hmm. cutting chickens, breading chickens for the next day. That kind of an event is really the epitome of the agricultural community, I think though, because it brings together so many different generations and the dedication to just get it done. Yeah, you know, that's absolutely right. When you look at the list of volunteers, you saw so many people that were there with their children, uh, you know, at least two generations, in some cases three generations working together. And I think that's a lot, speaks well towards Queen Anne's County agriculture. I think it does also. Speaking of agriculture, you're in the poultry or the produce uh, production here. Do you want to speak about your farm and how, how large it is and how you came to be in Queen Anne's County? Well, I um, started growing produce when I left college in 1976, a long time ago. And in 1988, I moved down here from North Jersey, which is where I was born and raised. And I've been here ever since. Um, we've enlarged and expanded the farm over the years, and we have 360 acres of produce. Um, it's sold in a variety of ways. Almost all, 99% of it goes out wholesale uh, to various large buyers like Safeway, Giant, Whole Foods, and then many smaller buyers that supply restaurants, and it gets shipped all over the mid-Atlantic. What exactly do you grow? Sweet corn would be our number one acreage crop, um, but as far as value goes, cauliflower is probably our most valuable crop. We have about 40 acres of cauliflower for the fall. Agriculture has changed significantly over the last 10, 20, 30 years since you started. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say are the major technology changes that have occurred that have impacted your your process here? Well, technology hasn't probably had as great an impact in produce as it has in the grain farming. Um, we're still picking things by hand. Um, our plots of land and the plots that we grow on are smaller than they are for the grain producers, so we don't need auto steer tractors and things like that. I would say technology has probably impacted our line of work more in the way we sell things. Mm -hmm. We do so much more online now. We need high speed internet access, which we don't have out here in the hinterlands. Um, That's a discussion for another day, and uh, we seriously need to have that. Yes, we do. We do. And we will. I hope Absolutely, so. because that is another initiative uh, that I'm going to put in the top 10 economic development initiatives for the county that we really need to be able to serve all of our public, which is. Uh, regardless of how rural you happen to be. Absolutely. So, yeah. so. We'll involve you in that conversation when the time comes. Um, what's your favorite memory of the farm or what are you most proud of of your operation? Oh, I know, that's a difficult question. I mean, my favorite memory is <clears throat> all involved hard work. I remember one night that we were, we'd cut cauliflower. We had gotten both of our four-wheel drive tractors stuck trying to get the cauliflower out of the field, and we had to carry each box out by hand to the trucks waiting. I don't think we finished up until about 10.30 or 11 o'clock that night. Fortunately, it was a full moon, so you could see, but we were standing in mud up to our knees the whole time. And there's lots of stories like that. I mean, probably my favorite memories actually though involve my family and watching them enjoy the farm and seeing them grow and do more. Can you talk to us a little bit about your labor? Yeah. Our labor is all Mexican. It's um, They're all H-2A workers. Mm -hmm. uh, they're guest workers. They come under, into the country under the H-2A program. They work for us under contract. Um, it used to be that we had all illegal workers, illegal Mexicans, but that 
has really dried up. They're very difficult to find right now. So that's why we went to the H2A program. Mm -hmm. um, we've had the same workers now coming back. Mm -hmm. Some of them have worked here 13 years, um, nine years, seven years. I don't think there's anybody. Well, we have, we have one a few. New, one yeah, new one person. new one came in this year. But yeah, they stay here a long time. And they're great guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're really, they're hardworking and we know them and, right. you know, we look forward to, to them right. coming back each year. That's nice to they're have part them. part of our extended family. We couldn't do it without right. them. Right. Yeah. Right. I know that they were an integral part of the, the operation with the chicken festival. We were, <laughs> yeah. we were thankful for the additional help. That's for sure. That's right. I help you understand. Exactly. I'm going to switch to Sarah now for a minute and ask her a couple of questions. I've already kind of prompted her. Can you tell us how you and Bob met? Sure. Um, I was working for a company in Reston, Virginia, and we were doing a local buy program, and we were buying from the Eastern Shore. We were buying corn, which was the best corn available. Buying from Arnold Farms, I did not meet Bob. Um, initially, his brother was doing the wholesale business side of the business. Um, it was almost a year after buying things from um, Arnold Farms that Bob came over to, to make a delivery because you were short on I don't know, drivers. That's not quite correct. Uh, <laughs> I came over to ask you out and you dissed me. I did. I said no. He did. He came over, he delivered strawberries and lettuce and asked me out to lunch and I said no. <laughs> um, and then from there, you know, the rest is history. Exactly. But um, yeah, we are. So how long have you been married? Uh, 17, 17 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coming up very soon. You have a position off the farm with Queen Anne's County Board of Education. I do. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Certainly. Um, I work for, I, I'm an ESOL teacher, so I'm teaching students of other languages um, English. And I ESOL work stands for? English students of other languages. Yeah. Um, Just for those of the public that may not understand ESOL. Right. Acronym, right. Um, and I'm very fortunate. I love my job. I work at Churchill Elementary School, and I were also started working last year at Southersville Middle School. Um, so I'm working with children from pre-K through eighth grade and uh, working with it with them within the classroom and also um, doing extra work outside the classroom so so that's your school year job yes during the summer months you're also busy on the farm it takes a lot to keep uh, an operation like this one running efficiently and so tell us your role off on the farm well Bob would tell you I don't do enough on the farm <laughs> in the summer <laughs> but um, I do things with the kids uh, you know with the boys, but I sort of manage our Kingstown, st our Kingstown stand. Uh, we have a stand here on the farm, and then I do I participate in the Chestertown Farmers Market on Saturday mornings. And I think I was telling you earlier that um, it's I think it's my fifteenth year of participating in the farmers market. Mm -hmm. It's a long time. It is a long time. So I, I do um, I I enjoy my flowers. We do a lot of cut flowers. Uh, we do some big weddings and parties every summer. Um, so, and they're actually having a good year because we've had just enough, enough rain, rain to keep them right. going. So the, my zinnias have been very happy. An important part of that process, isn't it? There goes the giant right. chocolate trail. <laughs> so. Another part of the operation, right? Right. Yes, exactly. And we have three sons, Bobby, Peter, and Brian. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's start with Bobby. Can you tell me what your favorite part of the farming operation is? Do you have one? Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> the field work. You like the field work? Good. Somebody needs to, to ha be happy in the field. <laughs> Somebody else has a caterpillar on them. Yeah. On your, they're on your shirt collar. Uh, there you go. Wait, wait. Down. Down. There you go. Oh, there you you go. got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, We've been having caterpillar <laughs> issues since we're out here in this lovely yard. It's beautiful here. Right. Do you have a favorite memory that you'd like to share with us of being here on the farm and mm, working with your family? One of the various times we've gotten something stuck of course <laughs> oh, that, they love that yeah, we love yeah. it when it happens it's never fun when it's happening but afterwards you can look afterwards, back on it and laugh can, right yeah. mm -hmm. exactly exactly future plans do they involve being here on the farm hopefully good good peter same questions for you what's your favorite part of the operation i think i just like seeing a little seed about maybe this big growing to a near corn or, or an eggplant or tomatoes mm -hmm. or anything like that right that's good so you like the visual part mm -hmm. of watching things grow Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Um, do you have um, a favorite memory you want to share with us? I might have been eight, and my father um, was on the back of a tractor teaching me how to drive one. I might have been eight at the time, I think. Mm -hmm. That's about right. Right? Mm -hmm. So you've been driving tractors for a while then, oh, haven't yes. you? Yes. Good for you. Must have been a good teacher, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, well, I'm over here like biting my nails. <laughs> 
Well, very good. Do you have future plans in agriculture as well? Yes, but I hope to do. I hope to go to college for them. Very good. Very good. Okay, Brian, it's your turn. What's your favorite part of the farm life? Um, my favorite part part is probably just hanging with you know dad and my brothers and just kind of going out in the farm, just kind of working and trying trying new stuff and the like, driving tractors. Very good. So you like being here in yeah. the country, right? Yeah. Very good. And do you have a favorite farm memory you want to share? Um, everything's kind of like my favorite part here. Just like going outside, it's just beautiful here. So it is. Kinda... You're exactly right. It's beautiful here. Yes. And future plans? Agriculture? Something else you think? Um, or you don't Not know? agriculture. I mean, I like agriculture and all, it's just <laughs> not my thing. Right? Like engineering, military engineering. Very good. Very good. Okay, so anyone, what is your biggest concern for the future of agriculture? Do you have one? Over regulation. Okay. Okay. There's too many regulations mm -hmm. and they stifle creativity. Maryland has a very diverse agriculture, but if we continue to regulate it to death, we're going to kill it. And we're very good at regulating. Spoken as a Farm Bureau member, Farm Bureau president, and an agriculture operator, right? Well, as a produce farmer, we probably have more regulations than most, but regulations don't spur creativity. They usually stifle it. And creativity and the diversity within Maryland has, that's what makes our agriculture in Maryland so great and so strong. Right. So. so having said that, what would your wish for future generations and your family and others in agriculture be? Well, it would be nice if we could see small farms and like this one, but I'm not sure that that's realistic to ask for. I would hope that the chicken industry stays on the shore for the future. I get concerned about that sometimes. Um, it's a very important economic engine for the shore and we really need it. But I don't know, I, I think, I, I'm always positive. Uh, I think that farmers will somehow, will figure it out will advance, we'll move on. I think there's a whole generation, you know, the average age of farmers now, what, 65 exactly. or 66? Yes. So I think there's a whole new group of young people coming up that will take our sh over. Mm -hmm. They'll see things differently than we see it, mm -hmm. and they'll shape agriculture in the way that they want, um, that they think that will work best for the needs at that time. I, I just hope I'm around to see what they do. <laughs> well, I am too. So Bob, Sarah, Bobby, Peter, and Brian, thank you for allowing me to come and visit you today. I look forward to recognizing you at the Queen Anne's County Fair on August 13th at 645. So be there under the main show ring. And uh, we'll just be glad to have you there with us and the Eck family, who is the other family who's being recognized this year. And then we'll also have some members of the legislature to acknowledge uh, what you do for agriculture and for Queen Anne's County. Great, thank you. No, thank we look you. forward thank to you. being there. Thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, don't look mad. Yeah. Let's get Bob the guinea over.